Hey YouTube, what's up? So, this is clickbait. This is clickbait. So what is clickbait? What do you think clickbait is? I think of clickbait as a title or a thumbnail of a video, an article, something you see on Facebook or Twitter that has this outrageous image or text that makes you want to click on something, and then when you actually click on it, you find out that either the text or image has nothing to do with the content, or it's mostly unrelated. What do you think? I think clickbait borrows the term bait to being led somewhere and then being misled there. You are promised something that was not delivered. So for example, if the title of a video is We're Breaking Up, and then the video is not about you breaking up, then that is clickbait. Well, we should look up the official definition of clickbait. Okay, let's see. What do you what think about that? What does it say? You have that queued up? No. I don't mean either. Okay. <laughs> and by official definition, I mean the first thing I find when I Google it. It's from Google Dictionary. Oh. Is that a reliable source? According to Google Dictionary, which apparently is a thing. It's just a dictionary. Oh my gosh, okay. Clickbait is on the internet. Content whose main purpose is to attract attention and encourage visitors to click on a link to a particular web page. Interesting. Okay, so according to the dictionary, clickbait does not have any intent of misleading people, just of dragging people in. That's different than what I thought clickbait was. Same with me. Alright, videos. <laughs> I think though that the concept of clickbait has become mainstream in the last few years because it seems like it's more prevalent on social media, on YouTube, on Facebook, and I think that's what we want to talk about. So how do you feel about clickbait on YouTube? My first gut response would be that I find it annoying because you'll see a thumbnail or something and be like, oh this looks like something I really want to learn about. And then you have to like either scroll through the entire video and then find like five seconds of something somewhat relevant or there's nothing there at all. And it's kind of like, well, I just wasted my time. Most of the time it's when someone posts like a shirtless selfie or something and they're really sexy and I'm like, oh, I want to see them in a video with no shirt on. Maybe like the last five seconds they're like, oop, oop. What do you think about clickbait on YouTube? Well, okay, this is a trick question because it depends on which definition we're using. If we're using the dictionary definition of clickbait by just drawing someone in with something outrageous, that's great, that's fine. That's like a good, healthy video. If you're making entertaining content that people wanna click on, that's awesome. Isn't that kind of the point of posting a video? Is to yeah. get people to click on it? Like, otherwise it's a boring video. Does like, that mean that everything is clickbait, technically? No, because some videos are not. I'm like, I don't wanna watch that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're using my definition of clickbait and you're misleading somebody by promising something either in the thumbnail or the title that isn't there, that's not okay. That's definitely capitalizing on people's expectations to convert that expectation into a click. It's like a bait and switch almost. What do you think is actually problematic about it other than just wasting people's time? You're essentially lying to people. Yeah, if you lie to someone, chances are the consequences of it are gonna be pretty small if it's a white lie, but it's still just not a good thing to do. Do you think that it builds up this atmosphere of mistrust? People will eventually go into YouTube thinking like, oh, all of this is fake because I'm so used to things being clickbait. Yes, I do. I think so. I think people are getting desensitized to that kind of thing and then think like, oh, there's no way they're actually answer this. How many times has a gay YouTuber made the title of a video, top or bottom question mark, and how many times have they not answered it or answered it like cheekily, like, oh, like I sleep on the top bunk. Oh, wow, so clever. Thanks for that, guys. People title videos about breaking up and then it never actually follows through. That can be frustrating because you're like invested in this relationship and then you're like, holy sh they're breaking up. And then you're like, oh, that was just to get me to click on their video. Speaking of. Well, the reason we kind of made this video is because we made another video pretty recently called Breaking Up and Staying Friends. Based on the dictionary definition of clickbait, we clickbaited y'all. We put kind of this like crazy title out there and a lot of you thought, oh my gosh, beeps are breaking up. And a lot of people commented saying like, this is clickbait. I don't know. Do you think we clickbaited? I think that that's when it comes down to technicalities. Like we could justify it. And we came up with the title of the video and even the concept where like, we're actually talking talking about the idea of breaking up and staying friends. That's what the whole video is about. Like, the title was certainly misleading. Your first instinct is going to be, oh my gosh, their relationship is over. The other form of clickbait that we often encounter, which I kind of referenced earlier, is putting some sort of scandalous image on a thumbnail and getting people to click that way. A shirtless picture or like a blurred out image or something. And we've definitely done that a lot. I think a lot of times people will just throw like a set of abs up on an image for like extra clicks. I will say that every single one of our videos has featured an image of us from a screenshot of that video. We've tried our best to make the image enticing while not being clickbaity. But I feel like we're trying to kind of justify our actions. I am. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with being honest and saying that there's a conscious decision in everything that we put out on the internet. So we know that the image that we're putting out, if it has a shirtless, is going to get more clicks than something with us wearing shirts. And that's kind of how 
the YouTube game is put in. And I think a lot of YouTubers are also frustrated that in general views are declining. A lot of them are resorting to this method of get, getting more people to watch their videos. I think there's nothing wrong with baiting people as long as it's not a bait and switch. Firstly, I'm trying not to pass any judgment either way. Like I said earlier, it can be certainly annoying to click on a clickbaity video that doesn't satisfy your expectations. At the same time, I think that that's kind of just how things work. So I don't think it's necessarily good or bad. I think it's just reality. Up next, story time, how I almost died last week. <laughs> I was gonna stand up and be like, oh, okay, well, this video's over. And that's me filmed now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do shoot some of our videos in our underwear, just so you know, and that's not clickbait. What do you think about clickbait? Is it a valid way of getting people to watch your content? Is it kind of a sleazy way? And also, what are we doing right or wrong? And how do you want to see us portraying ourselves? I think this is also all really valuable information to have as viewers and as YouTubers. So let's talk. Talk to me. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us this week on Too Deep Sour. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, comment below, and if you haven't, you know, click that subscribe button. I'm Beep. I'm Beep. We are Two Beeps. Beeping out. Beeps. Out. Beeps out.